So with the latest i7.2 Apple actually entered this bunch of new settings. So in this video, I'll share some of the recent changes right now. Okay, so for the first setting, it's gonna be the default alert sound. So before it, it used to be only one sound, but things with i7.2 Apple actually introduced a bunch of new sound. So for this, you can open up your setting. After that, you can tap on sounds and haptic, and after that, you can go to identify find default alerts. And, and after that, you can get a bunch of new options. So this is the default one, but things with i7.2, there's a bunch of them. Okay, so for the next setting, it is actually with the iPhone camera app and also with a cloth. So with this, uh, with this, anytime if you see this random uh, sign, so so this is for laundry care. So for things with a seventy point two, if we take a picture of it, it's actually gonna show you the, all the steps you need to follow. So uh, for this, you can open up your camera, and then after that, it's just gonna take a picture of it right here. So make sure that there's a picture so it's clear, and then they can see it. And after that, if you just tap on the picture, and after that, if you just tap on I right here, after that, just give it a few seconds, and over here, it's gonna show you the laundry care. After that, if we just tap on the laundry care, and after that, it's gonna tell exactly what to do uh, just for this uh, hoodie right here. Next thing is the new editor clock. To actually get this, you're gonna hold on the home button and you're gonna tap on plus. After that, over here, you're gonna tap on clock. Then after that, you can get this new EDGR clock. So this looks so cool. So before it just used to be this, but things are 17.2, you get this right here. So just tap on that, then tap on add. So not only that, if you just hold the home screen and tap on plus, then over here, if you just tap on it, whether you're gonna get a bunch of new options. So so these are all the default one, but things if you go all the way to the right, you're gonna get to a new option. So over here is the daily forecast. So over here you can see if, for example, uh, uh, what is the weather for today, and also uh, what is the weather for the okay, few, few more days. Then also there's a, an, another one right here. So this is gonna give you like a, a bunch of like information, and then also if you go to the right, you get another one is the sunrise and also a sunset. Smell. So it's one of the coolest feature Apple actually introduced with iOS 17. So it's gonna look something like this. So you're gonna get two options. You're gonna accept or block. So it actually gonna translate the whole thing there as saying a uh, light two. So if this is scam, you're gonna click on block. But if this is like a real call, you're gonna answer it. For this, you can open up a setting. Then you're gonna scroll down until you find phone. After that, you're gonna scroll down until you find the light voicemail. So if this is off, make sure you turn this on immediately. For the next setting, it is actually skin distance. So if you're using your phone really close, with this, it's actually going to give a warning. So for this, you can open up your setting. Then you're going to look for skin time. And you're going to get the site to skin distance. After that, it's going to ask for your skin time password. It's going to look something like this. For the skin distance, so just not... Only problem with this uh, is sometimes if it's not even that close, it, it can give you warning. So that's why I don't have this on. But things, especially for a child, I think this is a must have. For the next setting, it is actually Siri. So before you say, hey Siri, but things with i17, you get a couple of options. For this, you can open up your setting, then you can go down until you find Siri and search. And after that, you can tap uh, listen for. So before it is only two options, but things now there's a third option. So before it's Hey or off, but things for the third option is Siri or Hey So you can see either. For the next setting, it is actually the ringtone. So with i17 application, it is like a bunch of new ringtones. For this, you can open up your setting, then you can tap on uh, sign haptic. After that, you can tap on ringtone. So this is all this in the top. These are all brand new. If you use the default one, I think you should change it to like a new one. For the next setting, it is also under a sounds and haptic is this right here. So there's a two option. So first is the keyboard feedback. For me, I actually have the uh, feedback on. I think with the uh, with the keyboard feedback, like I think with the typing, it just feels so much better. And for the second one is actually the uh, system haptic. With the system ha haptic, is so much better. So so for this, so if you guys don't like it, so for the first time, just it, it, it turn it on, and if you, you guys don't like it, just it, 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 it turn it off. It's simple as that. But oh, the next one is gonna make your iPhone much more clean is with the verification code. So anytime if you're logging into bank account or like any app that uh, record the verification code, the uh, signature code, well, this is gonna uh, it came automatically. So if you have this on, so anytime if you get a record, it's gonna use that code and after that, it's gonna uh, clean up the code. But the next setting is actually the crossfit with the Apple Music. So if you use Apple Music, you're gonna get this you know, option under music. So for this, you can open up a setting, then you're gonna find music. And after that, you can go down until you find this right here is the a crossfit. So with this crossfit, it actually does give like a cool animation. So you can do uh, from uh, one second to all the way to 12 seconds. But then if you don't like this, you can just uh, uh, turn this off. For the next setting is actually in the camera app and is the new level. So with the level, you can actually see if you're, if you're using the, if you're holding the phone instead or not. So did you see that uh, a, a line in the middle? So in a camera, it's really hard to see, but if you move it, you're going to see it's not a label, but if you hold it instead, you're going to see it's going to label. So for this, you can open up your setting, then you're going to go down until you find camera. 
Now, after the composition, you're gonna see level, so make sure that is on. The next setting Apple will finally add this is actually a share attack. So you can finally share attack to up to like five people. So for example, before Apple, I don't know for some reason Apple didn't allow you to do this, but things with i17, you can finally do this. The next setting it is actually named up. So if you're bringing two iPhone together, you're gonna get this cool animation. I think it looks so dope. So this you can open up a setting, then you can go out at different general. But then you're gonna look for add drop and then you're gonna get this right here. So it's sharing by so with this is gonna bring two devices together. So make so make sure this is on. But only problem with this, so it's gonna accident it sometimes it can accidentally turn it on. So so that is still like another problem, but things like if you said that it is really dope. Then it's gonna be limiting iPad this tracking. So with this is gonna help people avoid your location. So you can open up a setting, after that you're gonna type a cellular, after that you're gonna type a cellular data option, and after that you're gonna get this option right here. Limit IP address tracking, so make sure that is on. For the next setting, it is also here and it is with the 5G. So for this you're gonna type a voice and error. After that, you're gonna get this right here. Setting is on a 5G on. Make sure you change that to 5G auto. So if you don't know with 5G on, it's gonna so with the 5G on, it's gonna take more, more, more your data. Uh, just know that, that that is not a good thing because actually with this is gonna uh, destroy your battery life. So so for this, make sure you change from 5G on to 5G auto. Next setting, it is actually joining random Wi-Fi, especially the public Wi-Fi. Uh, just know with that, it's gonna be a, a, a risk. For this, you're gonna tap on Wi-Fi. And after that, you're gonna go down until you find this option right here, ask to join the network. So, it, so if it's from ask, make sure you turn, you change that to off. And then for the second setting, for ask to join a hotspot, make sure you change from automatic to ask to join or, or to whenever. For the next setting, it is also under sounds and haptic and is the haptics. After that, you're gonna tap on it and after that, you're gonna get a few options. So with i17, Apple actually added more options. For the first one, it's always play. So if you like haptic like me, you're gonna put always play. But then if you don't like it, you can just click a uh, never play. But things if you want to play like only in in the uh, silent mode, or like you do, do uh, don't in the silent mode, you, you can uh, you do that with i17. For the next setting, it is actually with notification. So for this, you're gonna tap on notification. After that, you're gonna click on show previews. For the next setting, it is actually locking your notes. So if you have any notes that is important, so if you have important personal stuff, you can actually lock it. For this, you can tap on the T-Dot. After that, you're going to tap on lock. And after that, it's going to ask for if you see all like a touch ID. After that, you're going to see the lock button right here. The next few setting, it is actually under privacy and security. So over here, there's a bunch of uh, like a, a setting that is so unnecessary, but people still have this on. The first one is actually tracking. So these are all the apps tend to track you. So make sure you just uh, check on that and click on uh, ask app or test of tracking. In the future, no app can track you. For the next setting, it is actually under photos. So these are all the apps that have access to your photos. So for this, you're just going to tap on any app you don't like. Just tap on that and click on none. No app can have access to your photos. So just know the photos, they can have access to every photo on a gallery. So For the next setting, it is actually under location service. So these are all the apps that have access to your location. Just know most of the app doesn't uh, need a location all the time. So if there's any app you just don't want, for example, like a Chipotle, you just tap on that and, and you, can, you can never, that's it. Okay, for the next setting that most of people don't know about, it is under a location service. And for this, you're gonna go all the way down until you find a system service. After that, you're gonna go all the way if, all the way down until you find a system for location. So after that, it actually gonna recreate your face ID. So this, it can see every place that it actually been to. So if this is on, make sure it turn that off. And after that, make sure you click on clear history. And after that, you're gonna click on clear history once again. For more content just like this one, make sure you like the video and don't forget to click the red subscribe button and peace out.